Today, the world of air mobility enters a new chapter. A remarkable innovation has been officially introduced to the public, Airwolf, an electric flying vehicle made by Czech company Unlimited Drone Experience, UDX. Imagine a giant drone that can not only fly, but also ride like a motorcycle. Airwolf is a future mobility solution that promises a new freedom to explore the skies with a two-seater design, vertical takeoff and landing EVTOL, capabilities, and power that rivals high-performance vehicles. Visually and functionally, the Airwolf is truly reminiscent of a recreational drone, but on a scale large enough to carry two passengers. But make no mistake, behind its sleek and futuristic design lies high technology focused on safety and maneuverability. For high-speed propellers hidden in a sealed container allow the Airwolf to maneuver like a hummingbird. Each propeller is individually controlled, producing a total power of 430 HP a remarkable figure for a personal electric air vehicle. Not only does it excel in power, efficiency is also key in the Airwolf's design. The outrigger structure that looks like a support leg also functions as a wing. UDX claims that these wings contribute up to 50% of forward lift, allowing the vehicle to travel up to 142 miles per hour and accelerate from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 3 seconds. However, due to its 639 pound weight, the Airwolf can only fly for 25 minutes with a range of 41 miles. Even so, the experience of driving this vehicle will feel more like piloting a fighter jet at low altitude something completely new in the world of personalized automobiles. To date, the Airwolf is still in the scale model testing stage. In fact, UDX created miniature action figures to give a realistic picture of the concept. Although not yet in mass production, UDX has already set the official price, $320,000 USD comparable to a top-tier supercar. But with its appeal and luxury, it is not impossible for the market to welcome it enthusiastically, especially for pioneers and collectors of future transportation technology. Of course, there is still a long way to go before we can see Airwolf flying freely in the city skies. Infrastructure challenges, regulations, and user readiness are still obstacles. Is the world really ready for low-flying vehicles? How will these vehicles blend in with cars, trucks, or motorcycles on the streets? One thing is for sure, today's Airwolf launch marks the beginning of a big change. And perhaps, it is the first step towards a future that has only existed in science fiction movies. Thanks for watching.